Hi everyone. Now I've got something really special lined up for you. I'm going to do a whole series of videos about IT networking and Linux as well because that's going to come into it a lot. And I'm going to start at the very beginning, so really basic. So it doesn't matter if you've got no background whatsoever, we'll start right here. Now the first step is to put Debian Linux, that's a type of Linux, onto a computer. We've got to install it. And we usually install these things from a USB stick. So the very first step is to put the Debian image, which you would have downloaded, onto one of these memory sticks. Now I'm going to show how to do it on Windows, Linux, and a MacBook, because I don't know which one you've got, but they're all pretty simple, just different, of course. So I'll we'll start with the Windows one, and I'll put the Debian disk image, the one that you downloaded, onto this uh, memory stick here. Okay, the Windows program I'm going to use is called Rufus. So just download that and run that. And then uh, put your USB uh, memory stick into the USB port on the computer, which is what this cable goes to. And as soon as you do that, you'll see a device come up here in the device part. Okay, that's the device I just plugged in. Now what we want to do is select the disk image that we downloaded, the Debian image to install. So just click select and grab your image and open. Okay, we're ready to go. Now when we press start, it says something here that it needs to download a bit of something extra for that particular image. So just click yes to let it download it. And it's ready to go. Now it says which mode. Just go with the recommended one. Click OK. Warning about deleting everything, of course. Yes, that's OK. And off it goes. OK, now that took half an hour, but it's just about done. So there it is. It's done. OK. So that's how you do it on Windows. Now I'm going to do it on Linux using Debian and the command DD. Okay, I'm going to do that on Linux now, using Debian actually. And uh, first thing, just like before, plug the USB stick into the uh, USB port. Now, it'll probably come up with something saying that it's mounted like that, saying that it's uh, accessible as a drive, but we don't care about that. What we do need to do is find out the device that it's going to be called, okay? Because in case you've got other stuff, we want to make sure we're writing to that device. So I just go to the root user, okay? Around DMESG. Now you can see in there that a USB mass storage device was uh, detected and uh, it's called SD something, SD something, SDB. Okay, so it's calling this SDB. Now, don't worry about the ones and twos after, they're just extra partitions in it. We're going to blow them away anyway. The bottom line is this device is SDB. So what I'm going to do is just use the command DD, uh, which copies data from somewhere to somewhere. Uh, input file equals Debian, which Deb, you can just type Deb, then press Tab, it will fill it in for you. And the output file is slash dev for device and sdb, which is what we saw just up here that I've highlighted there. Again, we want block size equals uh, 4 meg and status equals progress. And that'll start popping that ISO image onto the USB stick there. Okay, that's the Linux one done. As you can see, in my mind, it was a lot uh, easier, definitely a lot quicker. So that's Linux, and now onto the MacBook. Okay, now I'm going to do that once again, this time using the MacBook. Now, if you've got a new MacBook, you'll need a USB to USB-C adapter, so you can fit it in the smaller port on the side. But if you've got an old MacBook, same as before, just plug the USB stick straight in. Now, you might get a pop-up saying that um, it can't recognize that disk, because like that, just ignore that. It's because it's doesn't like what we've put on there before. But anyway, it's found the media there, so we don't have to do that. We just have to select the file. And there it is. Open that. So there's the file, the output device, similar to like DD, and then we just click Flash. Now, we'll need the password to do that. Now, it wants permission to do that because I haven't done it on this thing before. Still ignoring that thing before. And we need permission. So, I'll allow it. Flash. And off we go. Okay, and once it does the uh, copy, it does a validation as well. So, got to let it run through that. Okay, so... There it is, once again, we've got the disk image um, copied onto this USB stick here, ready to install on the laptop. And as I've shown, you can use whatever you want, Windows, Linux, or MacBook. Personally, I prefer the Linux one because it's quick and easy. Um, but this is our Linux install that we're going to install in the next video. 
Uh, so we can use Linux from there on. So till then, take it easy.